Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Topics with me, where today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. Now today, I wanted to go through what I said I would in another video. Now, I have been scammed, and the Instagram scam that's been going on, I will get more into depth in it, but I'm going to go over just general scams in general, and I have done one as well as Okay Doke. I think Okay Doke did both of them, but I'm going to do one one day, don't worry. So, without further ado, let's get the intro started, and we'll see you after the intro starts. Roll it. My name is Derek Amal, and I am proud to be. I'm in another town with my family, and so I found a place where everyone will be. Let's talk discreetly. This is Topics with me. Okay, so pretty much what you need to know about scams is you have to watch out for them okay they can be sneaky uh, or they could be obvious now some scams like you've known for email and phone call they usually have mispronounced letters words pronunciations and it's just it's, it's obvious that it's a scam some of them don't seem that apparent like IRS scams and stuff like that social security and I have done not only social security but I've also done the the tech center pranks where they trick you into to having a virus for a computer and then you know you have to pay for it to fix it and it's it's just it gets so complicated but the, what they're trying to do is either earn money from you or they're trying to direct you to having to pay them money in an indirect way so it's it just it's kind of like a pyramid scam and usually they don't take place in the US because it's risky so they usually let other countries do their dirty work now some locations have been based in the US, kind of like the scam that I was running. I went to a specific scam site to get that number, and it wa while it was based in Houston, Texas, at least uh, I thought it was, it is a scam, and there are scams that happen within here. There are many examples that I could go through, but just search online and you'll find all types of scams and different categories, and it's just, it's, it's really bad. So. You know about the email scams and the telephone scams that I at least have gotten and how to clear them out and you know how to deal with them. They usually get spammed themselves and if you don't know them then you basically just forget that they're in your life. Now there's a different thing that it comes an issue with. Now when you're dealing with an IRS scam or something from the government they won't usually call you. They would mail you a letter or visit you. If you're dealing with any type of email scam usually what's good to be true is okay you have to be kind of cynical if if an if a random email out of nowhere just comes to you and it might solve all your problems but the thing the new thing is the instagram scam now you can obviously tell it's a scam because you know of the writing and the animations and i don't know why they have to make it so flashy why not make it believable so they would scam you at least i've gotten these types of scams where they click on the website and then they like they forward it off to all of your friends at least the ones that you follow not all of them in my personal opinion but i had to go out and make a reminder and a disclaimer of why everyone is getting those you know coupon thingies and some people did click on it so i have to make this video for you guys now it's important to look out for these scams and identify them if you get spams like this it's not like you should just close your account you should just basically block them and report them that usually helps the algorithm with instagram and everything i've recently stopped getting spams and spamming other people through my account it's a hacked account deal I, I don't know sometimes they follow when they hack my account they follow uh, people that I don't even know so it, and I end up deleting some people but I'm not gonna let that stop me because yeah now I was reluctant to make this video at first because I thought that it was a one-time thing and I thought it was like a specific person um, but I figured out that you know I wasn't the only one who was going through this I had other friends that wanted you know justice and brought this to their awareness so what I'm going to do I'm going to do something very rare I'm gonna post almost all the parts of the video of this kind of disclaimer on my channel I usually don't post the whole video on my uh, on my Instagram or anything but I'm going to post this section as a matter, as a matter of fact I'm gonna post this almost this entire video on Instagram um, TV I'm gonna try it out and Facebook and I'm gonna see you know your response and if you really do care about this this will go out granted on Thursday which by the way this will be Thursday and 
today's Wednesday, so it's going to come out very soon, but I want you guys to be aware. You know, I want you guys to know what you're getting yourselves into. So I'm here, okay? So thank you guys for watching this video. You know, I put up some examples on the sides just to let you guys know. I know this is a small video, but I know I wanted you guys to be aware. It's not a large a conspiracy video if you want me to do like more on how scams happen and stuff like that I can do that you just have to comment and want to for me to do that stuff but I wanted to make you guys aware that there are scams even on messenger Facebook there are uh, whatsapp scams there are text message scams that they message you out of nowhere but I just wanted to make you guys aware so Please take this with a grain of salt. Please share this, not just to help me, to help others, okay? I want you guys to share some of my videos. They they are usually just to help you guys. They're not just to help myself. So thank you guys again for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. Share. And I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye. bye okay? <laughs>